So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Rockport, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this absolutely cool, compact, grand design Imagine XLS travel trailer. This thing is super compact, super cool, relatively affordable, and there's a lot to like about it. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we hop inside, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,395 pounds. This is gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,553 pounds. In my opinion, if you're careful how you load this up, this is absolutely something that's half ton towable with a properly equipped half ton truck. Now you can see the unloaded vehicle weight is 4,802 pounds, which makes this a relatively light unit. So if you take that and you add about 1,000 pounds of cargo, you're gonna be under that magical 6,000 pound rating. Has twin 3,000 pound axles, which is really nice which means it's going to give you axle capacity that comes close to matching the gross vehicle weight rating of this unit and if you don't load up 395 pounds worth of weight then you'll be right at it which makes this a very very good setup overall but let's take a look at the inside of this unit and then we'll come back out and walk around the outside of it so this is the grand design imagine 17 mke it has your standard aluminum flip out step which is pretty nice gonna squeeze into this unit and you'll see right off the bat why this might be appealing to a lot of folks. First of all, look at all this seating space. This is almost indicative of a fifth wheel in terms of space and partially because you have a Murphy bed. So whenever it's time to sleep, you simply unpin the Murphy bed, drop it down over this seating area and you have a dual purpose living area, which I think is absolutely great and very uh, innovative for an RV just to be able to use a space when you want to use it as one type of space and then convert it to another when you're ready for that. A lot of cabinetry in here, hanging rods. Again, it's very, very indicative of a RV with the bed fully out when it's up because of the storage and the nightstands and everything you're gonna get. But when you're not sleeping and using the bed, you simply flip it up out of the way and then you have this space. And you know what? Let me try to flip this thing down so I can give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Okay. Okay, this is gonna flip out like this. And then you're gonna pull the bed down like this and then the mattress will fold down on top of it so it doesn't take up too much room it's queen size so it's big enough for most people and again I don't really want to pull the mattress down and wrestle it back up but you guys get the idea I'll go ahead and put that back up flip this up like this and there you go and then you just pin this back in place right here let's get this lined up and you're ready to rock. So you have a really nice seating area here, and this is more of a sofa, less of a love seat, more of a sofa. The center folds down for your armrest, which is really nice. Two cup holders here. This looks super comfy as well, but I absolutely love that. They put an interesting mount here, which is likely for a table because this is gonna be your dinette area as well. So it'll have a table right here, and this leg slides in like this into that little mount right there and then once that's in you mount the actual table to the top of it and you have a really cool kind of I don't really know airplane or movie theater style table which is pretty awesome a lot of countertop space in this unit you can see the TV's already mounted and it's absolutely good visibility and the TV rotates up here so if you wanted you'd be able to see it from either seating area which is nice has one air conditioning unit up top. Very nice light tones. They already mounted a mirror for you as well. Nice cabinetry up here. All of your main radio controls, everything are behind this area. And I'm guessing your slide controls will be in here. Yep. So everything to control everything's inside of this one cabinet, which is nice. It's kind of out of the way and it looks nice. It would have probably been nice to maybe build it in somewhere over here, but no, this is a good spot for it. Over here you have your large single basin stainless steel sink. Nice little draining rack that rolls out on top of it. Three burner gas cooktop with your oven. But look at all of this countertop space. A ton of it. You could easily put a coffee maker in several different areas, which you know I like. You have your compact microwave right here. You have a small window right here. And then you have a window right here, which it almost seems like the window should be over the sink. But that window's okay. You have your Dometic gas electric refrigerator. 
all your drawers down here, which is really nice. Something I absolutely like about Grand Design is they put a lot of drawers in their RVs. Here is your bathroom space, very good size. Another thing I like about Grand Design is on their travel trailers, even their lower cost units, you have a very good size shower basin. Very nice size medicine cabinet. Nice little shower rod, but this is actually an interesting kind of membrane style door, which closes. Stainless steel sink, plenty of room over here, and then you have some space over here for towels, toiletries, and such. Two little hanging hooks and then a hanging rod. And this is a porcelain foot flush toilet, which is really nice. Has a magnetic latch for the door as well. Here's your AC control. And this is a ducted air conditioning system as well. That's actually kind of a surprise to me because usually on something this small, you wouldn't see a ducted air conditioning. So the fact that they've put thought into it and given you a ducted AC is very, very nice. Has nice blackout window shades, which I can appreciate. Very cool, let's take a look at the outside of this unit. Okay, let's start at the front where you have twin 25 pound propane tanks. You have your pass-through storage. Very, very thin door here. It doesn't really need to be that thick, but that's thinner than most I've seen. Nice big pass-through storage up front. Nicely trimmed off as well. Frame-wise, this rides on a six-inch I-beam frame. Has scissor-style stabilizers front and back. Again, it has the aluminum fold flip-out steps. It is prepped for the TireLink TPMS system, which means somewhere you're gonna have a little mounting adapter that's already powered up, and you just have to buy the rest of the components to get that to work. Right here is gonna be your freshwater tank fill. Cable power if you wanna bring a small TV out here and watch TV on it. It has kind of a spread axle setup here with no suspension equalizer. It's actually kind of difficult to find suspension equalizers for units where they spread the axles out. You have your Westlake tires on here as well. I'd recommend upgrading those to something maybe like a Goodyear Endurance. Maybe a higher load rating as well. You have a good size awning which covers most of this side. There is your vent hood, so you want to open that up if you're going to be cooking anything inside. This is your 4 inch tubular bumper, all LED lighting. It is wired for an offset Furion wireless backup camera and I see why because they have the ventilation for the refrigerator back here. It's the back of your furnace, this is the back of your water heater. It does have a walk-on roof. Coming around to this side, I like that they put some lighting above your dump valve back here, which is really nice. This is your black tank flush system. And then you also have a Schwintec slide on the only slide on this unit. Very, very cool. Yeah, this is something that, again, is half ton towable. Right? Just be careful how much you load up, pay close attention to your tongue weight, and make sure that you're very careful when you're towing it, because anything that's tall profile like this, and essentially a flat wall when you're going down the road, can you know lead to sway, and you don't want to be in that situation where you think you're set up perfectly, or you don't need some type of safety precaution, and all of a sudden you find yourself squirming down the road trying to keep control of your RV, and preventing uh, you know other people in your own family from getting injured. This specific unit has an MSRP of $31,000. So it's a very affordable unit and the sales price is gonna be significantly less than that, definitely in the 20s. If this is something you're interested in, give them a call. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.